Raises a blood drama and his followers. Chapter 8. Sutra, in the same way, Earth Star Bodhisattva replete with great compassion, rescues beings who are suffering for their offenses and enables them to be born among humans and gods where they enjoy wonderful bliss. Once those offenders are released from the suffering they experienced on the paths where their karma took them, they must never go down those roads again. They are like the lost people who mistakenly took a dangerous path and were led to safety by a kind mentor. They know how to never take that road again. Moreover, they exhort others not to get on that road by saying, we took that road ourselves when they got confused, but we escaped. And how we know better than to ever get on that road again. If we were to set foot on it again, we would get confused and be unable to recognize it as the dangerous path we took before. That being the case, we might lose our lives. The same holds true for falling into the bad destinies. Due to the powerful expedient means of earth stop bodhisattva, beings can be freed and gain rebirth as human or gods if they were then to turn around and enter into the bad destinies again. Those with heavy karmic bonds might remain in the house forever with no chance of escape. Commentary in the same way for these reasons. Earth Star Bodhisattva replete with vast and boundless great kindness that bestows in um, joy and compassion that uproots suffering. Like a wise teacher rescues all beings who are suffering for their offenses and enables them to be born among humans and gods where they leave the suffering for the three evil paths and enjoy wonderful bliss in the human realm or the heavens. Once those offenders are released from the suffering they experienced on the three evil paths where all their offense karma took them, they must never go down those roads again. They should never want to fall into the three evil paths. They are like the lost people mentioned earlier who mistakenly took a dangerous path and were led to safety by a kind and spiritual powerful man. Mentor. They know now to never take that dangerous road again. Moreover, they exhort others not to get on that road to the three evil realms by saying, We mistakenly took that dangerous road ourselves when we got confused, but we escaped, liberated from the path of danger, and now we know better than to ever get on that road to the three evil realms again. If we were to set foot on it again, we would get confused, lost, and not be able to get out. And we would be unable to recognize it as the dangerous path we took before. That being the case, we might lose our lives. The same holds true for falling into the bad destinies. Due to the powerful expedient means and magical powers of wisdom of Earth Star Bodhisattva, beings can be freed and gain rebirth as humans or gods. If they were then to turn around and enter into the bad destinies again, those with heavy, heavy karmic bonds from evil acts might remain in the house forever with no chance of escape, unable to leave suffering and attain bliss. Sutra. At that time, the ghost king, evil poison, placed his palms together respectfully addressed the Buddha and said, World honored one, each of us countless ghost kings of Jambuvipa bestows benefit or inflicts harm upon beings differently. However, karmic retributions cause those in my retinue to travel the world daring to do more evil than good. Nonetheless, when we pass by a household, a city, a town, a garden, a cottage or a hut where there are men or women who have cultivated as little as a hair's worth of goodies, even if they have hung up but one banner or one canopy, 
use the little incense or a few flowers as offerings to images of Buddhas or Bodhisattvas, recited the sacred sutras, or burned incense as an offering to even one sentence, or gather in them. We ghost kings will respect such people as we would the Buddhas of the past, present, and future. We will instruct the instruct the smaller ghosts, each of whom has great power, as well as the earth spirits, to protect such people. Bad situations, accidents, se severe or unexpected illnesses, and all other unwelcome events will not even come near their residences or other places where they may be, much less enter the door. Commentary at that time, the ghost king evil poison, a most vicious and mean ghost king who specializes in dealing with evil and very vicious people arrived before the Buddha, which leaves him no longer evil or vicious. He placed his palms together respectfully, addressed the Buddha and said, World honored one, each of us countless ghost kings of southern Jambuvipa bestows benefit or inflicts harm upon beings differently. There are countless ghost kings in one world, not to mention that there are countless worlds, thus rendering the number of ghost kings countless. Each ghost king governs over different things. Some govern over those who hurt people, while some govern over those who plan to benefit people. How come there are ghost kings who hurt people and ghost kings who help people? Those who hurt people subdue bad people. Those who benefit others help good people. However, karmic retributions cause those in my retinue to travel the world doing more evil than good. Why are ghost kings in the occupation they are in? It is because of their past karma. The retinues of us ghosts who go about different parts of the world are mostly evil more are evil and fewer are good also they are more evil than good nonetheless when we pass by a household a big city a small town a tiny village a garden a cottage or a hut where there are men or women who have cultivated as little as a hair's worth of good deeds even if they have hung up but one banner or one jeweled canopy used a little incense or a few flowers as offerings to images of Buddhas or Bodhisattvas, recited the sacred sutras such as the Suragama Sutra, the Dharma Flower Sutra, the Avatamsaka Sutra, the Vara Sutra and other Mahayana Sutras or burnt incense as an offering to even one sentence in a sutra or a gatha, i.e. a verse, in them. We ghost kings, every one of us, we respect such people as we would the Buddhas of the past, present, and future. We will instruct the smaller ghosts, though considered small, each of whom has great power as well as the earth spirits to protect such people. Bad situations are situations that go against our wishes, such as a house caught on fire or some accident without reason. Accidents that occur unexpectedly, such as plane crashes or train derailments, severe or unexpected illnesses that never quite occurs, and sudden one set of illness that leads to death in possibly less than an hour, or all other unwelcome, unpleasing, or un or inauspicious events will not even come near their residences or other places where they may be, much less enter the door. How could these bad situations, accidents, severe illnesses, and sudden onesets of death reach a certain individual's home? The ghosts are there to protect, ensuring that everything is auspicious. Why is everything auspicious for them? By making offerings to the Triple Jewel, cultivating and doing good, adverse events not to reach their houses. Sutra, the Buddha praised the ghost kings. Excellent, excellent, that all of you ghost kings 
join lot drama in protecting good men and women in that way i shall tell lot brahma and lot chakra to make sure that you are protected as well when that was said august king in the assembly named lot of life said to the buddha warned honored one my karmic conditions are such that i have a jurisdiction over the lifespans of people in jambufipa governing the time of both their births and their deaths. My fundamental vows are based on a great desire to benefit them, but people do not understand my intent and go through birth and death in distress. Why is that? When women in Jambu Fipa have just given birth to children, be they boys or girls, or when they are just about to give birth, good deeds should be done to increase the benefits of the household thus causing the local earth spirits to be immeasurably pleased. The spirits will then protect the mother and child so that they experience peace and happiness and will bring benefit to the entire family. After the birth or killing and enduring for the purpose of offering fresh meat to the mother should be carefully avoided as should parties that include drinking alcohol, eating meat, singing and playing musical instruments. All of those things can keep the mother and child from being peaceful and happy. Commentary The Buddha pra praised the ghost king's evil poison. Excellent, excellent that all of you ghost kings joined Lord Yama in protecting good men and women in that way, I shall tell great Lord Brahma and Lord Chakra of the heavenly of 33 to make sure that you are protected as well. When that was said by Shakyamuni, another ghost king in the assembly named Lord of Life, who controls human lifespans, said to the Buddha, Warned or not one, my karmic conditions are such that I have jurisdiction over the lifespans of people in Jambu Fipa, governing the time of both their births and their deaths. I am in charge of lengths of life. My fundamental vows are based on a great desire to benefit them, but people do not understand my intent and go through birth and death in distress. Why is that? When women in southern Jambu Fipa have just given birth to children, be they boys or girls, or when they are just about to give birth, good deeds that benefit people should be done to increase the benefits of the household. Doing good deeds brings about an auspicious light which protects you. Having created good deeds and benefits that help the household, thus causing the local earth spirits to be immeasurably pleased. The spirits will then protect the mother and child so that they experience peace and happiness and will bring benefit to the entire family. After the birth, remember not to kill any being. All killing and enduring for the purpose of offering fresh meat such as chicken, duck or fish or bring some delicious food to the mother who just gave birth should be carefully avoided as should parties that include drinking alcohol, eating meat, singing and playing musical instruments such as violins or flutes. All those things can keep the mother and child from being peaceful and happy. Sutra Why is that? At the difficult time of birth, uncountable evil ghosts including mountain sprites, goblins, and certain spirits desire to eat the strong smelling blood. I quickly order the local earth spirits of that household to protect the mother and child, allowing them to be peaceful and happy and to receive other benefits. When people in such households witness those benefits, they should do meritorious deeds to express their gratitude to the earth spirits. If instead, they harm and kill and have large gatherings involving feasting and entertainment, then the retributions that result from such offenses will be borne by them and will bring harm to the mother and child as well. Moreover, when people of Jambu Vipa are on the verge of death, 
I wish to keep them from falling into the evil paths, regardless of whether they have done good or evil. But how much is this power of mine to help them increased when they have personally cultivated good truths? When those who do good in Jambuvipa are about to die, hundreds of thousands of ghosts and spirits from the evil paths transform themselves and appear as their parents or other relatives in an attempt to lead such people to fall into the evil paths. How much more is that the case for those who have done evil deeds? Commentary: Why is that? What are the reasons that make the mother and child ill at ease? At the difficult time of birth, uncountable evil ghosts, including many kinds of mountain sprites, water goblins, and certain spirits designed to eat the strong smell blood that is let out during labor. I, Ghost King, the Lord of Life, quickly give orders to the local earth spirits of that household. Whenever something like this happens, I command those earth spirits living there and take care of the residents and land there to protect the mother and child, allowing them to be peaceful and happy, and to receive other benefits. When people in such households, including adults, And children witness those benefits. They should do meritorious deeds to express their gratitude to the earth spirits. If instead of being grateful, they harm and kill living beings and have large gatherings involving feasting and entertainment, then the retributions that result from such offenses will be borne by them. They must bear the consequences of the offenses that they committed. And they will bring harm to the mother and child as well. Both children and adults will be hurt. Moreover, when people of the southern continent of Jambu Fipa are on the verge of death, I wish to keep them from falling into the three evil paths, regardless of whether they have done good or evil. Or whether they are good or evil, but how much is this power of mind to help them increased when they have personally cultivated good roots? I do not need to expend too much effort to protect them because they have cultivated good roots. When those who do good in the southern continent of Jambu Fipa are about to die, hundreds of thousands of ghosts and spirits from the evil paths transform themselves. And appear as their parents or other relatives in an attempt to lead such people to fall into the evil paths. Even people who did good deeds will have evil ghosts that come and entice them at the time of their death, wishing to make them fall into the evil paths. They may change into the way your parents, relatives, or friends look. They will come to receive you too. Making you fall into the evil paths. How much more is that the case for those who have done evil deeds? Even people who did good deeds have evil ghosts to come to fool them into falling into the evil paths. Not to mention people who did evil deeds. Evil ghosts are all the more likely to come and entice them into the evil paths. Sutra. Wound or not, one when men or women in Jambu Fipa are on the verge of death, their consciousnesses and spirits become confused and dark. They are unable to discriminate between good and evil, and their eyes and ears are unable to see or hear. That is why relatives of those deceased people should make generous offerings, recite the sacred sutras, and recite the names of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Such good conditions can cause the deceased to leave the evil paths, and all the demons, ghosts, and spirits will withdraw and disperse. Word or not, one if at the time of death beings of any kind have an opportunity to hear the name of one Buddha or Bodhisattva, or to hear a sentence or gather. Of a Mahayana Sutra, I observe that such beings can quickly be freed from the pull of their accumulated minor bad deeds that would otherwise send them to the evil paths. The exception to that is crimes involving killing, 
that warrant a five-fold relentless retribution. The Buddha told the God's King Lot of Life, because of your great compassion, you are able to make such great vows and protect all beings in the midst of life and death. When men or women in the future undergo birth and death, do not retreat from your vow, but liberate them all so that they can experience eternal peace. Commentary: God's King Lord of Life called out, "Word honored one, when men or women in your buffet path are on the verge of death, their warmth, breath, and eat consciousness leave their bodies, rendering to an end to their life." Their consciousnesses and spirits become confused and dark. When people are nearly dead, their spiritual consciousness, which is their body between skandhas, is unclear and does not yet understand that they just left their body and that they are dead. They are unable to discriminate between good and evil, and their eyes and ears are unable to see or hear. Their ability to see, to smell, to be aware, and to know are all gone. That is why relatives of those deceased people should make generous offerings, create substantial merit for them by having monastics recite or by personally recite this sutra. This is why. In China, monks are invited to recite sutras for one, two, three, and on up to seven weeks in reciting the sutras. After Elder Master Su Yun passed away, the Buddhist lecture hall created merit by reciting the Mahaprajna Sutra for more than 160 days. This is unprecedented. No patriarch in their passing. From the time of Shakyamuni Buddha until now, has had such a huge drama assembly where the Mahaprajna Sutra is recited. This is a great offering. Recite the sacred sutras such as these, and recite the names of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Such good conditions for creating merit and doing good deeds can help the deceased and. Cause the disease to leave the evil paths, and all the demons, ghosts, and spirits will withdraw and disperse by creating merit for them, so that as their virtues become great, resentment against them and disasters on them vanish. With merit and virtue, offenses and problems decrease. Hence, all the demons and evil spirits withdraw and disperse, running away. World honored one, if at the time of death, beings of any kind of the southern continent of Jambudvipa have an opportunity to hear the name of one Buddha or Bodhisattva alone, no need for many, or to hear a sentence or gather of a Mahayana Sutra. I, the Ghost King Lord of Life, observe such beings can eliminate the five offenses of killing and harming that warrant. Being in the relentless hells and minor bad deeds that weren't being in the evil destinies, they quickly they will quickly be freed quickly from the pull of their accumulated minor bad deeds that would otherwise send them to the evil paths. The exception to that is crimes involving killing that weren't fivefold relentless retribution. As long as people of this sort hear or encounter the name of one Buddha or Bodhisattva, or a line of a verse in a Mahayana Sutra before、uh, or at the time of their death, they can get rid of the five offenses that would warrant them being in the relentless hells. They may also get rid of offenses from having killed or harmed others. There was not supposed to be any way to eliminate the offenses of the five rebellious acts, killing and harming. Originally, they deserved to fall into the evil destinies from minor offenses, but I will make them become liberated soon, so that they do not need to undergo offenses. The Buddha told the Ghost King Lord of Life, because of your great compassion. You are able to make such great vows and protect all beings in the midst of life and death. 
when men or women in the future undergo birth and death, do not retreat from your vow, but liberate them all, so that they can experience eternal peace.